much amount of people in that store. What time was it about when you were there? Um, I would say when I left there, it was about quarter, I would say somewhere near 20 to 9, because Dollar Tree closes at 9, and I wanted to run over there and get something. So I would say, yeah, it's about 8, 38, 40. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, say, I literally just missed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you say there, I mean, really, there are no words that you don't expect to be a part of this, but sadly, we are all becoming a part of this. Um, as I mentioned, you know, we, we've had these, these mass shootings most recently in Colorado Springs, but we were just uh, reporting on the University of Virginia, the, the shooting on campus yes. grounds there on the, uh, on the bus, the charter bus. Yeah. Going back from the yes, it's, it's yeah. very, very, very scary. Yeah. It's a very scary time we live in, and my sister literally fusses at me every night because I'm one of these people that think, "Oh, I'll just run to the store, I'll be fine." And this has changed my life without a question. It's a good point. We just uh, we can't do things the way that we normally have done things, and I'm I'm getting text. Uh, I think all of us are getting text from our friends here. And that's one thing that some people are saying that you just, you can't go anywhere. It seems you can't go to school. You can't go to a church. You can't go to a store. Yeah. You can't go to a mall. You can't. It's, it's frightening. And I mean, like that parking lot is full. When mm -hmm. I literally came out of the store, I had to park all the way at the very end. Like you were actually leaving out of the Walmart whole facility. Mm -hmm. And wow. of course, anyone that's seen that Walmart knows how large that parking lot is. And I could not find a space when I came in. Now, let's talk about that. For that's a how crowded it was. The, the way that parking lot is set up, you know, you have the circle, which Sam's circle. Yeah. So it, it, it mm -hmm. could be difficult if you need to get out of there quickly. That line is usually long. Oh, I, I'll promise you, you're not down. getting out quickly. Yeah. You're definitely not getting out of that parking lot quickly because you have to remember when you leave that parking lot, you have all those stores like the Chick Fil A, right. the Wendy's. There's a you know little corner mart and okay. other things Taylor, right we, there. We so we're not we need to go back to the the police. Uh, we've got Leo Kaczynski speaking right now. Terry, thank you so much for your time. Let's listen in. Thank you. And and um, kind of went th that motion. Um, uh, several other officers, many other officers uh, also responded. Uh, parts of our members of our fire department responded. And we did a, basically like a, a tactical um, entrance and, and movement in the building. Uh, we located multiple fatalities and multiple injured persons. Um, a little while later, through the course of, of providing treatment, uh, we were able to established that we believe it's only a we believe it's a single shooter and uh that single shooter is deceased at this time um that's really all we have to go on it's a very active scene we're just a little over two hours past the you know the it happening um that that's kind of where we are so can you tell us was the shooter involved in an officer involved shooting or did the shooter i don't believe so but i can't say that for sure so that's still be part of the investigation you know, it's it's all because it all happened very very quickly very dynamic a lot of a lot of people involved a lot of officers um any any clarity as to the relationship with CEA or what were they an employee or was it a customer? Do not know at this point. We're we're getting in a lot of information coming in and we're kind of uh, investigating all that. We're looking into the relationships and and and, and all that. And is there, time. if not an exact number, of range as to how many fatalities injuries we're talking about? Here? I, I don't. I apologize. Sorry. Um, I do not have a, I don't have a range. It's been just multiple fatalities and multiple injuries and all the injured were transported to area hospitals. Any, sorry, was the shooter uh, due to her man, male or female? Not at this time. Any important information? Because I know the Family Reunification Center is set up. Any other information that uh, families may be concerned? Like just that our Family Reunification Center is the Chesapeake Conference Center and that's at 700 Conference Center Drive. So if you're looking to try to get a hold of a loved one that either worked here or might have been shopping here, uh, that's where you should go is, is that 700 Conference Center Drive to try to locate your locate your loved ones. Any, any ideas of how many people were in the store when this was reported? I, I don't. Uh, you know, this, obviously, this is a very large store. It's a super center. I mean, I don't know how many square feet. It's very, very large. I, I don't know how many, how, how busy it was at the time. You know, we're just a couple of days away from Thanksgiving, so I don't know how much shopping i don't i don't know we don't have a shot i don't know what's it been like for for you all with police because i mean walmart's i mean these are big you know square footage i mean 
What has that been like for you as far as investigating canvassing the area, of course, responding directly on scene? Uh, well, as far as the investigation, I mean, there's, it's, it's basically it's an all hands on deck type situation at this point. You know, we have many of our investigators here and we just, you know, piece by piece, you know, we just just take a little bit of time. You know, we have we have plenty of time right now. You know, we're the store's closed. So we're just we're going to you know investigate until we get everything complete. Do you know how long? Uh, there are several outside agencies, but they're assisting with, with traffic. Virginia State Police is here. And I think I saw a Virginia Beach police car uh, helping with just traffic, traffic control. Do you yep. know roughly when, how long it was between when the first officer arrived on the scene and when the tackle entrance was made? I do not know that. going on right now you know as big a store as this is uh, you know there could be a lot of hiding places you know if somebody was in there they heard something got scared ran and hot and hid um you know we're still kind of in the in the in the searching aspect of, of going through the store just to to locate other potential victims or you know just people in hiding did it seem like the shooter was shooting randomly targeted i do not know can't i can't say do you know whether or not the shooting was uh, appeared to be contained to one part of the store at this point? I do not know. When can we expect to get an update on how many fatalities? I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping sometime tomorrow, uh, looking into that. It's still, like I said, you know, we're just a couple hours past the initial incident, so every, it's very, very fluid, very new right now. So right now, the steps, next steps for your officers are what it was before. Correct. We're still, yep. Still clearing until we're confident the entire building is, is clear and safe and secure, and then the criminal investigation sec part starts, and that that could take uh, that could take days. Obviously, we've seen mass shootings in our area before. Is there a comparison to what your officers are working this scene to others? Uh, I could I could I could I couldn't make a a comparison. I'm sorry. How how are you all feeling right now? Because I mean, gun violence, of course, mass shootings have been. You know, report on nationally. I mean, and of course, Hampton Roads is no stranger to it with what happened three years ago in Virginia Beach. I mean, what what, what do you make of just what's been going? on? I mean, it's it's sad. You know, we're a couple of days before the Thanksgiving holiday. I mean, any time that's a sad. I mean, it's just it's just a just a bad time all around. You know, it's just for everybody involved. You know, especially the victims. Like this is this is horrible. Have all shoppers been cleared out of the store? Yeah, any shoppers, witnesses, they're all contained. Will we'll be interviewed with for uh, by police. So, I can do two more questions. Anybody? Anything else? Okay. Good. All right. I don't know when uh, we'll do another update. Uh, maybe next couple hours or so. You know, I don't really anticipate a whole lot more coming out in the overnight hours. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get something together and, and kind of go from there. So, all right. Leo, thank you so all right. much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. If you guys want to get your... All right. That's it. I think we, we have a mic for you, yes. Yeah. Okay, this is um, just getting an update there from uh, Leo Kaczynski with Chesapeake Police Department. Very busy man tonight. Phone's mm -hmm. still ringing while he's trying to update the media on what happened there with this mass shooting at the Walmart Supercenter on Sam Circle, which is off of North Battlefield Boulevard in Chesapeake, a huge store, a very, very busy area. We originally were told in terms of a number, and these numbers do shift over the course of reporting, somewhere uh, around 10 then less than 10. And what he just said right now is that he doesn't, he's not comfortable with a number. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, of course, the shooter is dead. But, Norfolk, but uh, Nicole, I'm sorry, you're getting some information about uh, Norfolk General, correct? That's right. We, uh, we have reached out to Centera Norfolk General Hospital. They confirmed they are treating five patients from that shooting right now. Uh, no update at this time on their conditions, but we know Centera Norfolk General is a trauma center. And uh, Evan mentioned uh, Nightingale being, did you mention Nightingale? Somebody mentioned that Nightingale was there or you He's saw there, it. So, yeah. okay, yeah, we're looking at a picture. Sarah, yeah. yeah, okay, we're looking at a picture of it now. There's Nightingale. Um, so usually, you know, when, when they need to fly somebody to the hospital, and like we said, we are not far from Centera Norfolk General, so we usually will hear 
the uh, the helicopter above us um, as it's bringing patients to to the hospital. And so. they are level one trauma centers, mm -hmm. so yeah. we would uh, assume perhaps shoot yes, yes with the that shooting that they would get they would trauma get patients. Uh, the trauma patients there yeah, and, but, it, and it might have overwhelmed chesapeake general too oh, because yeah. chesapeake general is not as big and you know your normal er that's busy you know with everything else that's going on you know? it's it's nearby but yes it's not um equipped as centera norfolk general but centera norfolk general again that takes about 17 minutes to get, you know, I used to always yeah. time it out when I would come from Chesapeake to Norfolk. It didn't take so long to get to downtown Norfolk from that area uh, where we work. Yeah. Yes. Okay. One so. thing, you know, like Leo pointed out, this is a huge Walmart. Oh, it's it's gosh, the yeah. super center. So it's got the grocery store. It's got the pharmacy. It has the, you know, all the other, you know, home goods and you know everything else there. The garden center, I think it has a garden center mm -hmm. there as well. So, and you know, when you think about these wall, you know, these big super box stores, you know, there's no place really to go, you know, other than pretty open, yeah, you know, other than, you know, duck behind mm -hmm. a row or some shelves or mm -hmm. something. So, and I imagine, again, that's always been one of the busiest Walmarts, probably, you know, in Chesapeake, yes. certainly. Sure. And we've heard, you know, Terry talking about how that parking lot was just so crowded. And she said the store was crowded. She was in there. We talked to her on the phone. She was in there. I would guess around nine o'clock um, because she said she saw the, the first responders heading to the store after she had left the store. But she said that there were probably four greeters and we, we know the Walmart greeters. If you go in the store, yeah. a lot of them are retired folks. They take on this job and probably during the holidays, you have more people working. Um, she said the, the registers were, were busy. The store was packed. You could tell that it was it was busy and people were shopping probably for their holiday uh, plans, whether it was for, for meals or for gifts or, you know, a little bit of both. And and basically what she told us is, given how busy it would have been for the holiday, it was mm -hmm. just a normal hustle yeah. and bustle inside oh, yeah. the grocery store. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of busy people, a lot of probably stressed people. And uh, But she didn't notice anything in the time that she was in the store that uh, she felt was all that unusual, given the time of year and the time of day it, mm -hmm. it was. And back to the information from uh, Leo Kaczynski with Chesapeake Police. There's no idea of the exact number of fatalities. Before they were saying they think less than 10 people dead. We do know five people are being treated at Centera Norfolk General Hospital. Um, police do confirm that the suspected shooter is dead. Um, there's no specification at this point if the shooter worked at the store. Angelique spoke to some people who said they were employees there and the person was well known to them, but they did not say whether that person works at the store. This call came in after 10 o'clock tonight. Again, they do not want you near the scene. They want folks to go to the Chesapeake Conference Center, which is 700 Conference Center Drive. That's off of Greenbrier Parkway. They want you to go there. About It's about seven miles away from the Walmart store. If you're looking for a loved one, if you're trying to connect and get information, that's where the reunification center, as you see there on the map, the distance between the store and uh, where they are talking to people. And they did say that uh, Leo again said that they will be working through the night, mm -hmm. of course, and, mm -hmm. and well into the morning. And as they try and still figure out what they have, uh, uh, but it's uh, you just uh, you loosely add up the numbers here and it, it all indications are it's a significant event. I think when we use the word multiple, we, we're right about that. We're going to go back to Sarah Hammond, who's been on the scene there uh, since shortly after this all unfolded. Sarah. Like you guys heard, we just got an update from a spokesperson with Chesapeake Police. Uh, I'm going to give you guys kind of another rundown of, of what the updates are at this point. Um, Y'all were asking earlier about other agencies assisting right now. The people, the first responders in this parking lot that are the, you know, with the investigation right now are all from Chesapeake. They do have um, some Virginia State Police and Virginia Beach Police kind of on the perimeter uh, helping with traffic at this point. Um, right now, they cannot confirm if the shooter was male or female or whether or not they were a Walmart employee or what their relationship was to if at all, uh, anyone or this this Walmart in particular, they still believe it was just a single shooter. They have confirmed that shooter is now deceased. Clearly still a very active and, and fluid scene. Um, they're telling us probably not a lot of updates uh, coming anymore tonight. We still don't have an exact number of how many fatalities or injuries we have. 
Okay, so I'm just going to give you guys an update that um, I'll bring you over from what's being said online. Um, a gentleman has stated that, uh, claimed that it was a manager. Um, and, you know, the, the police are not confirming that. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, it says a Walmart manager has shot multiple employees. Police are um, responding to multiple fatalities and injuries inside of Walmart Superstore in Virginia with um, officials saying that the manager at Walmart started to open fire shooting multiple employees inside. Um, this is a video. We just saw, we just did the motherfucking ambush. He went to everybody was in that motherfucking right now. And you know what? I saw him when he went in the office. Yeah. You all right? No. I know. Well, I know. I'm talking about, are you all right? Are you... Are you call your son? I just say dad. My phone in there. Oh, okay. And then, I just say dad. Oh, okay. Hey, you know, it's okay. That shit it's crazy, y'all. You know what I mean? Bro, come in this bitch on some old. He, 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 it's wild though, bro. It was the manager, one of the managers. Shit is savage out here. I'm old though, y'all. This shit ain't got down. Yeah. 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 Right. And then this one here. Uh, says that witnesses are reporting saying that the night manager snapped and shot a lady, uh, trigger warning you guys, um, shot a lady in the head, killed multiple employees in the break room, uh, 10 plus shots fired in the gro grocery section, and shot and killed himself, and that there were four plus fatalities. I don't know how they got the number when the police don't have the number, but I just think the police are waiting to not scare people and to make sure they have an accurate number before they say anything. And as soon as I probably about <laughs> niggas just watched the active shooter video. That's the whole crazy shit. Yeah, he did it. Yeah, he did it. All, but man, that man a coward for that, bro. You kill anything. Like, you kill people that ain't did nothing to you. Are like, you soft for that? He, he lucky he blew his brains out. That's a weird shit. That shit crazy, though. I, the crazy thing is, I literally clocked it. And I, literally, no cap, no. I literally, bro, I literally walked out the break room, right? And as soon as I, probably about no less than five minutes, blah, 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 I'm like, and then I start hearing this shooting, Byron. That shit crazy. I don't love my fucking jacket in this. Yeah, sorry for all the language that's on here. Um, one more that I have. This was a, actually, I, don't, I, don't, I won't play this one. This is a the update that was the first update. That Well, it's it's pretty quick. I'll respond initially. We found, as soon as we get here, we find uh, basic evidence that a shooting had occurred. And, you know, what was actively going on. So we, we responded as, in an active shooter fashion. We're trained for that. Um, that's, that's It falls within our area of what we do. So we go inside and long story short, over the course of the next 30, 45 minutes, we were able to find multiple fatalities and multiple injured parties. Uh, with the Chesapeake Fire Department, we were able to put rescue and tactical teams together to go inside to um, provide life-saving measures rapidly and quickly. And then uh, through the course of the investigation, we believe it was a single shooter, and we believe that shooter is deceased at this time. Um, officers are still on scene right now, coming through the building just to, to be sure. But as of right now, we believe it's only one shooter. We believe that one shooter is deceased right now. Like I said before, there's multiple fatalities and multiple injuries. So we're just a little over an hour into the incident. And unfortunately, it's um, it's very fluid right now. That's, that's all I have at this time. Do you want to say if the shooter is self-inflicted? We do not know at this time. What's a shooter and employee? We do not know at this time. Okay. Were any shots sure. fired by police? Not to my knowledge. I do not believe so. So when you guys got here, was it pretty much, I mean, over, I guess? I do not know. I don't know the timeline just yet. I, I kind of got here uh, quite a bit after the fact that it happened. 
I, I believe that the, the shooting had stopped when we arrived, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So we did treat it as an active threat response, which is within our, which is within our normal um, response tactics. Was it just Chesapeake police that responded or did you have help from other agencies? Uh, initially it was just Chesapeake police, but there are, I believe I saw a state trooper vehicle outside earlier that's uh, providing some assistance. Okay. And you probably can't answer this, but when you say multiple fatalities, over five in the age range, I mean, not age range. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I, I think right now it's less than 10. I think, I think that's, that's a pretty accurate right now. Did the, did the shootings happen inside the store or outside, or do we know? I believe it happened inside. Inside, any employees involved? I think we may have already asked that. I do not know. But one, there is at least one deceased outside the building, correct? Correct. There yeah, I was going to say that too, that um, I had seen that there was uh, at least um, one that was outside. Um, Out of here. Uh, I don't know where I had seen it now. It's on one of my posts um, that I put in Discord probably. But yes, uh, that's, I wish I knew where I put it exactly. But yeah, that there was, uh, maybe it was over here. Mm, it said um, around 10, mass shooting. Um, according to those seen, one of the Walmart managers entered the break room, started shooting at those inside at, at around 10 on Tuesday night. He came, quote, he came in and started spraying, a witness said. The shooter then entered the gro grocery section and shot customers. Um, and they believe that the gunman is dead. And, um, yeah, it's really, really awful. Um, okay, this one. So it said a night manager snapped, shot, a yeah, we read this, right? Shot the lady. And then, so that's probably the woman that was out, maybe the person outside. I'm not sure. I don't know, but yeah, pretty awful. And, uh. Oh, really need these to stop, everybody. I mean, this is out of control, out of control, out of control. That's awful. I mean, could you imagine if it was a manager, really? Like, what? Oh, how frightening. But uh, please pray for the families. I figured I'd turn on the news station for you and let you watch some of that because I knew that the press conference would be coming on. Um, or an update anyway from law enforcement. So I figured I would turn that on for you um, real quick and uh, give you the most recent update on it. So um, we'll see a little bit later, you know, probably in the day if they get a count. And um, just please pray for the families of the people that were involved and uh, everybody that was there at the at the scene when it happened. But I will talk to you all very, very soon. I will give you an update once we learn one. Take care, everyone.